Welcome everyone to West Explains Best. We're doing a CUDA worksheet today on area of triangles and quadrilaterals. Now I went ahead and wrote the formulas for some of these. Most of these you're gonna recognize, but we're gonna go ahead and apply them here. Let's start with number one. We have a rectangle here and it has a length of six meters and a width of 5.1 meters. Now, can you call the 5.1 the length and six the width yes you can since you're just multiplying these two things together these two dimensions it doesn't really matter which one you call the width and length uh, most people just decide to call the length the longer of the two just to stay consistent makes it easier for them to remember in the future um, so we're just going to go ahead and multiply these two together it's uh, fairly simple here so our area is going to be equal to six times 5.1 and so we're going to go ahead and get our calculator multiply these two things together, uh, give me a moment, 5.1 times 6, and that should be 30.6 is our area, but we need the units. Make sure you put the appropriate units. We have meters squared. So we have 30.6 meters squared, and that is going to be our answer for number one. Number two, our second shape. Second shape is a triangle. A triangle is half the area of a rectangle. So if we have a rectangle, and we cut it in half, we would have a triangle, and that's why the area formula for a triangle is half that of a rectangle. Now, the important measurements to know is we call it something a little bit different, not length and width, but this time base and height. Our base and height always need to be perpendicular to each other. This is a very key part of the equation. It's very important that we have that as perpendicular, the right angle for the height. So our height here, this one is specifically 6.4. They're not interchangeable. So 6.4 is our height. Our base is nine. So we multiply that by nine and we multiply that by one half. Another way to write this is area equals base times height divided by two. A lot of people like it like that. I prefer the one half, but it's up to you. It's pretty much the same thing. Now we're just gonna go ahead and multiply straight across. So we have 0.5, which is the same thing as one half times nine times 6.4 and we get uh, 28.8, and make sure you include the units, which is yard square. Area is square units for uh, the measurements of area, square units. So that's our answer there. Third shape we have, this is called a parallelog uh, <laughs> parallelogram. So these two sides, opposite sides are parallel. So those are parallel. Now. It's kind of like a rectangle that's been squashed. So imagine that this kind of gets squashed and so it tilts over like this. Okay, if you can imagine it gets squashed over. So it has a very similar formula to a rectangle. The difference is our base is going to be one of the small sides and then the height is going to be perpendicular to that base or a line contained that base. So we can have a line extended here. This 5.7 is gonna be the same as this 5.7 right here, but that essentially is the height of our parallelogram. So we're just gonna multiply that by 5.7. So 5.7 is our height times our base, which is eight, and that's gonna be equal to the area of our shape. So eight times 5.7, and that equals 45.6 and that is our area, and that is meters squared. So that is our answer there. I have a low battery, I'll charge that later. I think we'll be fine. Another rectangle problem, just multiply, as we learned before, two times 3.1, and we're gonna get 6.2 yards squared here. Okay, Real, uh, rather simple, but let's go on to our next shape. So our next shape, this is called a trapezoid. A trapezoid has the feature that it only has two uh, sides that are parallel, the other two sides are not parallel to each other, okay? Uh, we can call this one base one and this one base two. They're pretty interchangeable. You could call the top one the second base and the, the bottom one base one. It doesn't really matter. The important thing is that our height is perpendicular to the one of the base, to the bases, not to one of the bases, to both the bases. So technically it's gotta be perpendicular to both, okay? So our height here is gonna be five. Our base one is going to be six. Our base two is three. Multiply that by one half and that's equal to our area. Start with the parentheses so we get nine times the five and then we multiply that by one half and that's gonna be our area. Now, what I always like to do, this is just a strategy I like to employ, 
is I always try to see if I can multiply this one half times an even number first. So let's say this was a six, I would multiply the one half times six and then multiply it by nine. If you can, you wanna to try to avoid decimals. In this case, we have two odd numbers, so it doesn't matter which way we proceed. So I'm just gonna go straight across my calculator. One half times nine times five, and I'm gonna get 22.5. So 22.5 miles squared, and that's my area for this one. Hopefully you guys picked up the little nuance of that strategy, always trying to make it easier to multiply in your head if possible. And now we just have more of the same shape. So uh, if we multiply nine times 6.6 .6 for this one, and we divide that by two, that would be our area. So our area here would be 29.7 miles squared, okay? This one is a square, so we just do, actually there's two formulas for this, length times width, or for a square, there's a special one, S squared, where a side is the length of one of the sides. So S is one of the lengths of the sides. So you just do side squared, seven times seven, 49 miles squared, and that's gonna be our answer there. Triangle again, uh, base times the height, perpendicular, okay, that's important, 3.8 divided by two, and so on and so on. So um, we're actually gonna get 3.8 kilometers squared for this problem. Probably the tougher ones are the trapezoids because you have to add the bases first, 4.8 plus, oops, 4.8 plus, so this would be base one, base two, add the two bases together, 29.4, and then you multiply that times eight, Okay, and I get uh, 273.6, and I divide that by two, or times one half, and I get area equals 136.8 feet squared, and that's my area. Um, what did I wanna say about this? Um, yeah, just add the bases together, multiply by the height, and then divide by two. And the reason why you divide by two, or multiply by one half, is because there is, you can see it, a triangle kind of built into it. So that's where that one half uh, comes into play. So if I will go ahead and do a couple more of these, um, again, this, we're gonna multiply these two sides together. So 16.8 times 1.4, you get 23.52. Those are the easy ones. Ones like these are the easy because you just multiply the two dimensions. So seven times 91.2, I forgot to write squared. Oh, hold on, this one's tricky. So this one's not as easy as it seems because we have two different units here. So what I would recommend is multiply this times 12 first to get everything in terms of inches. So we have 1.4 times 12. Glad I looked at this more closely. So that's 16.8 inches. And now we do 16.8 squared, and that gives us 282.24 inches squared. So make sure you take a look. Ones to keep in mind that are, aha, uh -huh, this one too is the same thing. So we're gonna do always multiply the bigger unit times the smaller units, uh, how many units are encompassing that. So if we have feet, you're gonna know that this needs to get bigger to match the inches. So seven times, that's 84. So we're gonna have 84 times 91.2. And that gives us an area of 7,680.8. Uh, inches squared. So make sure you take your time on those ones. I'm not sure if there's any others that are like that. This one's gonna be similar. So we have nine centimeters here. So we wanna make sure we change centimeters into millimeters. I believe there's uh, 10 millimeters per centimeter. So this needs to be 90 millimeters. So now we're gonna go, we don't care about this 100, why? Because we only want the base that's perpendicular to uh, the height. So that would be the 90 and the 76. Area equals 90 times 76, and then multiply that by one half. This is what I was talking about earlier. Multiply the one half times 90, do that in your head, and now we can just do 45 times 76, which is an easier problem to do. Saves you some work. Try to do it in your head and it'll save some time. So we have 3,420 millimeters squared, and that's how we do that one. And it looks like all the same units for the other one, so you should have an easy enough time. Sketch and label a trapezoid that has an area of 100 centimeters is our critical thinking uh, question. I'm gonna try to get something uh, that has, let's go four for this base, six for this base, and a height. So I have a base one and a base two that add up base one plus base two adds up to 10. 
that's important because now I can figure out what I need my height to be and then uh, I have to multiply that by half to get my area. Okay, so I have area equals one half times 10 times my height. So that's five, oh, equals 100. So I want this to be equal to 100. I'm just trying to make it simple. I, I thought a base one plus base two equaling 10 would be uh, helpful. So now I have five times the one half times my height, and that needs to be set equal to 100. So I need to divide by five, divided by five, and I get H equals 20. So this needs to be 20. So there's my cool trapezoid like that. Okay, change one number in the diagram you drew for the last question, so the area is now 200. The easiest thing to do here would be to change my height. So instead of a height of 20, let me make it a height of, and this is not to scale clearly, I would just make it a height of 40, and then that would double my area uh, to get it to be 100. Okay, and just to show you what that would look like, four plus, we have four plus six times one half times 40. That's 10 times one half times 40. That's gonna be uh, 20 times 10, which is 200 centimeters squared. And I probably should have put centimeters here, but I hope you get it. That's all there is to it. Uh, this is fairly straightforward. The main thing is applying the formulas, which we went over here. As a reminder, these are our formulas. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to check out more videos on area, geometry, or any other mathematical concept. Leave a comment if you need something covered. And thanks for watching. See you next time.